Tis the season for holiday music. I'm Steve Potter, welcome to STL TV. And the Benedetta, Orsi, and Friends Christmas concert is coming up on Sunday. I'd like to introduce you to my guest now. It is Benedetta Orsi, and also here is the president of the St. Louis Bologna Sister Cities, and that is Michael Cross. Hi to both of you. Hi, thank you so much for having us. Thank you. <laughs> Benedetta, um, you've been involved with doing these Christmas concerts for a while now. Yes, this is going to be our third annual Christmas concert with the St. Louis Bologna Sister Cities, and it's a great honor to be part of it. Uh -huh. Before we get into the details of what's going to happen musically and all that, uh, Michael, I'll tell you what, your organization was not on my radar, and I know you've been around for a while. Tell me what the Sister Cities uh, organization is. So the St. Louis Bologna Sister Cities is uh, a nonprofit organization which was founded in 1987 by Franco Gianotti and a few other Italians in the St. Louis region. Um, after a period of, I guess it, you could say it was defunct for a while, about for a decade, we refounded it in 2017. So we are rather a young organization. And our purpose is to foster mutually beneficial relations between St. Louis and Bologna regarding economics, culture, language, and we offer a slew of a variety of different uh, different cultural resources and for I'm, the community. I know, Michael, you have Italian heritage, you, yes. but you were born and grew up in St. Louis. Yes. So yes. you've been to the Hill a couple of times. Of course, absolutely. <laughs> Benedetta, you are actually from Italy. Yes, I am from Italy, and I'm actually from Bologna. Uh, I was born there, and I just moved to America, I would say, 12 years ago. Uh -huh. yes. What's Bologna like? I, I understand it's a wealthy city, it's an important city. It's a very important city. It has the most uh, antique university. Uh, and it's a beautiful city, uh, amazing food, I have to say. <laughs> yes, yes, lovely, lovely town. So, so, Michael, we're talking about this Christmas concert coming up on Sunday, but what else do you do all year? So we uh, have a variety of different um, events. So first of all, we have our annual Carnevale, which takes place in February. We have our annual Ferragosto, which is a summer gathering, and that takes place every August. So there's a, um, a number of different cultural uh, exhibitions, I guess you could say, that we offer for the St. Louisans, but also to connect both Italians and St. Louisans to appreciate Italy more and authentic Italian culture and heritage. So as far as the uh, Christmas concert, do you have any say in the matter or is, is she deciding everything? I think, uh, <laughs> I think I would best leave it to Benedetta to decide the music. I am not uh, <laughs> perhaps capable of. <laughs> Benedetta, is Italian holiday music the same <laughs> as uh, St. Louis holiday music? Yes, it's going to be uh, a concert with some classical uh, songs from, for example, the Christmas Oratorio by Bach, uh, the Requiem by Durufle. And then there will be, of course, classical holiday season in Italian, in English, some German as well. So we're running all the Christmas season. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Now, you're a mezzo-soprano. Correct. So for those of us not in the know, mm -hmm. what is the difference between a mezzo-soprano and a soprano? So the soprano has a higher range than a mezzo. A mezzo is more centered with her voice. Uh, she can reach high notes, but as well low notes, and it has a, a darker voice, so yes. I read somewhere, I did uh, you know, two minutes of research on this before we started, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and I read something about like mez mezzo-sopranos often sort of have secondary roles. I, I know that has nothing to do with talent. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. It's just that many composers wrote the primary uh, role for sopranos. So mezzo-sopranos are always, uh, kind of always, the gypsy, um, the partner in crime, uh, um, the bad lady of the situation, yes. <laughs> Tell me just a little bit about your St. Louis experience. I think you said you've been here about 12 years, but I know you've performed with Opera St. Louis, um, and not just here in St. Louis, you performed at Carnegie Hall and all over the world. Can you give me, and Michael, jump in there if you want to say a few things about her career. Tell me something. Yes, I was lucky to come to New York, to the States, uh, uh, 12 years ago with uh, an American foundation that sponsored sponsor me to come here. And uh, I sang plenty of time at Carnegie Hall. It was a great honor. And I moved to St. Louis in 2017, first time just to perform uh, an opera here, Carmen by Bizet, with Winter Opera St. Louis, where I met my husband. And then uh, uh, casualties brought, brought me here. You want to give him a plug? <laughs> 
<laughs> want to give your husband a plug? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what does he do? Who is he? He's a conductor and composer from the Dominican Republic, Darwin Aquino. Uh, he works for the St. Louis Philharmonic Orchestra and uh, um, for Gateway Festival Orchestra. He was the music director at Winter Opera, so we actually met there. And he's very active in town as well, and uh, he's an amazing husband and musician. Michael, tell me about the Sunday performance, uh, the, lo the venue, the location. Sure. So it's going to be at Christ the King Catholic Church, which is in University City. I believe that STL TV will have the address. Uh, up in a moment and so it's everyone is invited it's fifteen dollars per person children under the age of ten are free and we are I would just want to say we are very honored to have Benedetta with us in St. Louis when she came to St. Louis in 2017 we had just refounded the sister cities we hadn't met just yet but I think a few months after we had refounded it we met Benedetta Orsi and she became a member of our board immediately so we were so lucky to actually have somebody from Bologna uh, on our board and, and just again just briefly in a nutshell why is it important to have that kind of organization um, to foster ties between our country and Italy. Why is that important here? Well, I think it's important because it gives uh, St. Louisans a chance to connect with a different culture other than their own, and it gives a chance for us to expand our horizons, uh, to understand things from the perspective of a different culture, and to enjoy it, and to enjoy the music, to enjoy the culture, mm -hmm. the language. We have language programs. We have opportunities right. for uh, sponsoring students uh, from, from Bologna and from the rest of Italy. So. Okay, Benedetta, then tell me about the Sunday concert. How's it going to start? I know you're not the only performer. Mm -hmm. Give me a whole rundown. Yes, so this year we decided to do a Benedict and Friends concert. So I will be joined on stage by some amazing artists. So are they actually your friends? Yes, they okay. are. <laughs> Absolutely, they are. <laughs> so I'm going to have Gail Hintz at the piano. Then there will be Thomas and Trisha Jorstlein at the horn. Marta Simicheva at the cello, and uh, Jim Harry uh, as another voice. He's a bass, uh, and also he is the music director and conductor of the Amsol Choir. So, and we will have the Amsol Choir with us. So it's going to be a beautiful concert with uh, many artists on stage. We will present some young artists as well. So. It's going to be a treat. Well, the Amso Choir, then you're going to, that's going to be a full stage. You're going to have a, a lot of sound. Yes, yes. And uh, so tell me about the numbers that you have chosen for the show. Is there a theme? Um, it's, well, Christmas, of course, <laughs> and the holiday season. We have, of course, some uh, amazing Italian songs uh, to cheer our Italian audience that will participate. And we have some classical, like the Christmas song, Silent Night, White Christmas. But, of course, we wanted to uh, diversify a little bit. So, as I was telling you, we will have some Bach, uh, some uh, Durufle, something that is not so known, uh, just to um, introduce the audience to a different repertoire, but always in the holiday spirit. And Michael, what do, what do you think so special about this event? Well, I think it brings people together. We've had a challenging couple years, right? I can't believe that it's been this long. And so Do you now, remember two years ago, everything seemed normal? Right. <laughs> Just about two years ago, right? I hardly, I hardly remember. Right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So I think this gives a chance for us to bring bring each other together to bring us closer to one another in this holiday se season in the spirit of the holidays, spirit of Christmas, and even if you're not a Christian or whatnot, it's coming together. That's, that counts. And how can people find out more about what you and your organization do? I think you have a newsletter. Yes, we do. We have a newsletter and we also have a website. So if you go to stlouisitalians.com slash stlouis dash Bologna. So that's stlouisitalians.com slash St. Louis dash Bologna. I know that's a mouthful, but okay. I believe. Benedetta, do you want to hit a high note for us or something before we go? Uh, it has been a pleasure, really. <laughs> no, just... I mean, do you want to hit a high note? Ah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I can, I can. <laughs> I can do something. Um, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. You tight carols being sung by a choir and folks dressed up like Eskimos. Michael, she can sing. That she can. <laughs> I, I cannot compete. <laughs> That's going to be exciting. It's Benetta Orsi and Friends, a Christmas concert coming up this Sunday. Anything people need to do ahead of time as far as tickets or anything? All of our tickets are on Eventbrite. 
And uh, for more information, we have a Facebook page, St. Louis Bologna Sister Cities, uh, and our website, stlouisitalians.com. And Dr. what do you hope people will go away with after they see this? What's the experience going to be like, just emotionally and everything? I really hope they can feel that finally we can gather together and it's really just for us to be back on stage to wish all our audience an amazing holiday season because last year we couldn't have this. Music wasn't around us and we were separated from our families and friends and this year finally we are able to gather together again and we really want just to wish them an amazing holiday season and to leave the event with finally the brightness and the excited feeling of the holidays. Well, I can't, I, can't, I can't wait. It's Sunday. I hope people make a note of that. Benedetta, Orsi, and Friends Christmas concert. Are you going to do this every year now? Uh, yes. It has been three years in a row, so yes. why not? If they want to help me, yes. We would love to. <laughs> as long as you're in St. Louis, let's do it. Um, I saved my most important question for last. And uh, <laughs> I'm laughing already. My most important question to ask you, though, is what is your favorite Italian holiday food? Mm. Oh, I'll, I'll let you both answer. <laughs> that is a difficult one. I'll let Benedetta answer first. For me, it's pandoro with mascarpone. A uh, what? Pandoro, that is a cake that we have. You just buy it and it's a fluffy cake and you cover it in uh, this mascarpone sauce that is mascarpone and uh, whipped cream together. Did you mm. bring any? I have it. I have it home. <laughs> You're welcome to join me. <laughs> Michael, what about so, you? So, actually, to go on the pan pandoro, I would say pan which is very similar to pandoro, which is also a kind of a cake with different, um, what would you say, different, it can be chocolate inside, mm -hmm. there can be raisins or different fruits, dry well, fruits. Thank you both so much for helping spread holiday cheer and helping make our season here in St. Louis even better than it already <laughs> is. Benedetta and Michael, thank you so much, and we'll look forward to the concert coming up this Sunday. Thank you so much thank for, you having for having us. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Steve Potter for STL TV. Have a great holiday season.